In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool browser extension that will help you generate really long and descriptive mid-journey prompts for version five. So the browser extension I'm gonna show you today is called AI PRM, and it's linked in the description. So make sure to follow that link, add it to your browser, and then you're good to go. So once you're done with that, you need to head to chat GPT, which is also linked in the description. And as you can see, the dashboard looks very different now that you've installed the browser extension. And if we scroll down right here, these are all essentially templates for prompt generators, and they're for various different things. So a lot of these focus on SEO or keywords, and if you scroll down further, you can also see a YouTube script creator, which is really handy for any YouTubers out there perhaps. So you can just look through these and find some cool tools to help you optimize your workflow or speed up different processes. There's a total of 2000 right here, which is really cool. Um, but if we want to look for something mid-journey specific, we can search in this mask right here for mid-journey. And it's going to filter this down to 30 prompts. Some of these are very recent, like this one at the top two days ago. Um, we also get views, comments, and ratings. So this one has been uh, rated very well, and that's why it's showing up at the top. And if we uh, scroll down further, some of these are quite a bit older, like three weeks ago. So perhaps those are more optimized for version four of mid-journey. So do bear that in mind. You could also type in Midjourney V5 at the top right here. So currently there's not many results, but I'm guessing with time over the next few weeks, there will be way more uh, prompt templates added to this search term. So if we take that back out and try the top most rated or best rated prompt generator right here, obviously feel free to try out any of the other ones as well. Some of them are for AI photo art, some of them are for UX mockups. So there's, there's tons of different uses right here for various different topics and genres. Now, the first one will just give you various different prompts related to a specific keyword. The reason this is so handy is because it will give you really long and descriptive prompts you would really struggle to come up with yourself or it would take you a long time to come up with them. And it will give you inspiration in terms of different styles and also give you really creative results that you might have not been able to think of yourself. So let's say, for example, we want to type in right here, futuristic warrior. And you can try this in different variations. You can be very very, very simple, just give it one keyword, or you can give it a bit more information like a future warrior in space or in a jungle. You know, you can you can add some bits to this and it will be implemented in the prompt. So if we hit enter, then it's going to think for a little while and generate a lot of longer descriptive prompts that we can then copy and paste straight into mid-journey. So here we go, ChatGPT is done and it is actually created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight really long prompts. I have found that it always gives you a random amount of prompts, like it's not always going to be eight and it might be less or more. But as you can see right here, it also adds a bit of stylizing at the end for the aspect ratio and which version of mid-journey is used. So some of these sometimes say Niji mode, so you can you can just change that over in mid-journey. You don't have to use the styling specifically. Um, I would also recommend for these sort of sorts of prompts to use an aspect ratio of five by seven if you want to use them as posters, for example. Um, let's just read through one of these to get an idea what this sort of tool comes up with. So this one says, futuristic warrior wearing a bulky and heavily armored suit that looks worn and battle scarred, carrying a heavy machine gun and standing in the middle of a war-torn cityscape. The atmosphere is somber and bleak with smoke and rubble filling the air and the sound of distant explosions echoing in the distance. I don't know how the explosions and the sound of them would impact the image, but that's still interesting. Uh, so realistic photography with a wide angle lens and shallow depth of field, emphasizing the grit and chaos of the scene. And then we've got AR 16 by nine, which is great for like video formats or screen formats and version five. So let's just copy this one right here, highlight the entire thing, hold down control C on your keyboard. Then you want to jump on over into mid journey and paste this straight into the message box at the bottom. I'm going to change the aspect ratio right here to five by seven, just to show you that as an example for a poster format, and going to hit enter on this one. Now I'm also going to copy and paste all of the other prompts into here so we can check back on the different variations of the results. So here is the prompt.
one that I read out to you definitely looks very accurately to what was described in my opinion. Not very futuristic, more of an earthly feel, but nevertheless a really cool style. And if we scroll down further, some of these came back in a very, very different way. So this one um, is more like an outer space. It looks more like an astronaut. Definitely very, very cool as well. Then we've got this one right here, which is a sort of like lightsaber inspired. Uh, definitely a very cool and very different style as well. Uh, these warriors do look very interesting and the scenery as well with the sort of a space futuristic city in the background is very neat. And just scrolling through some of the other results, I think you quickly understand the value of this tool because it generates so many images for a certain topic, and so many different styles very, very quickly. What you can do as well, by the way, if you really liked one of these images and you wanted to just slightly change them, what you can do is you can actually use or find out the seed of the certain image and then make small changes to it rather than using this long prompt and changing around the, the color of the light. So if you wanted it to be blue instead of red, if you just copy this prompt, change it from red to blue, you're going to get a very different result to this right here because the seed is always going to be very random by default. But if we select the same seed as this prompt, we're going to get a very, very similar result and style that's not straying away too far in terms of creativity. And the way to find out the seed of this result is by adding a reaction right here. Um, so just hover over the image or the message, hit add reaction, and then search for the envelope. And if you click envelope, then uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to give you right here the seed for this image. And what we can do then is we can copy this entire prompt, paste it in to the imagine prompt function, copy the seed as well, and then add this to the end with dash dash seed space, and then paste the number. We're also going to need the aspect ratio and the same version. But now you could essentially change some of the wording right here very slightly. So for example, instead of bright red light, we're going to do bright blue light. Does it say red anywhere else? Yes, red glow right here. Let's change that too. Let's hit enter on that and see what it comes back with. And here we are. Doesn't that just look amazing? Very, very similar in the style and feeling to the original but the colors have been changed completely. So I hope you have fun with these prompt generators. I encourage you to try out different variations of them. Don't just use the one that I recommended. Um, try and find the one that works best for your style or for your workflows or for wherever you want to apply mid journey at work. So uh, definitely a cool trick that will help you save time and hopefully get better results in mid journey. And just a quick tip, if you ever want to get rid of this extension and want to get back to the old version of chat GPT, just click on it right here in your extensions tab, then go into manage extension. And then here you can turn it on and off to switch between the old version of chat GPT and the one with AI PRM activated. If you're new to mid journey and you want to learn, then make sure to check out this video next where I share nine different tips with you to help you save time and optimize your workflow.